How are we doing guys? Welcome to my brand new series, Everyday Reading by ST Fitness. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So like I said, it's a new series. This is um, a series where I'm challenging myself to read every single day for one year, 365 days, and averagely read one book a week. So I have actually been reading for a while now, but it's only been on and off. But in the past few weeks, I've been reading every single day and I have just never felt better. Um, I'm feeling more sharp, more focused, and I feel better that I'm learning more. And also I'm reading a lot of self-improvement books. So it's making me feel a lot better about myself. So that is what we're gonna be speaking about today. So stay tuned. So guys, let's get straight into this. So basically what I have actually been reading is The Rules of Life by Richard Templer. And this guy is, I just love his book so much. I've read two of his books. I've read The Rules of Life and The Rules of Wealth. He does have a few more. He has The Rules of Life, The Rules of Love, The Rules of Wealth and The Rules of Work. And basically what this book is about is just loads of rules to help you out in this category. So it's The Rules of Life that I've been reading. So it just gives you a lot of, um, like little rules to help you get by in life and like there's a couple of rules so I'll just read one to you now it's like rules to be nice to people by looking rules to look after yourself the rules of happiness keeping the faith learn to ask questions rules to have plans and <clears throat> it's literally it just makes you so good about yourself when you're reading this type of book because you're just learning as you go along so in, in this series what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reviewing the book I'm gonna be reading out my favorite chapter of the book and I'm gonna be rating the book out of one in 10. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna read you out my favorite chapter now. So guys, my favorite chapter of this book is called Only Dead Fish Swim With The Stream. And as you can see, I always circle my favorite rule because even though that I've read the book, sometimes I wake up and I think, you know what, I'm gonna read a few of my favorite chapters for the day just to give me a bit of motivation. So I'm gonna start reading now. Life is difficult and the rule is to thank God. It is so. If it was all fluffy and easy, we wouldn't be tested, tried and forged in the fire of life. We wouldn't grow or learn or change or have a chance to rise above ourselves. If life were a series of lovely days, we'd soon get bored. And if there was no rain and there, were, there wouldn't be any feeling of great joy when it stopped and we could go to the beach. If it was all easy, we couldn't get stronger. So be thankful it is a struggle some of the time. I recognise that only dead fish swim with the stream. For the rest of us, there will be times where it's uphill, upstream struggle. We will have to battle waterfalls and raging torrents, but we have no choice. We have to keep swimming or get swept away. And each flick of our tail, each surge of our fins makes us stronger, fitter, leaner and happier. So guys, that is just half of the chapter, but that was my main bit that I like about it. So what do I think this means? Well, what I believe is when you are trying to do something with your life and you are really trying hard, just say you're a university student and you're struggling with money, you're skint all the time and you're trying to change your life, but it just seems like it's just problem after problem. You've just got to remember guys that you're swimming upstream, you're gonna get hit by waves and torrents, but you've got to remember that you've got to get through them problems and then you're gonna come out a better and stronger person. So if I was gonna rate this book, I'm gonna definitely rate it a seven out of 10, only due to the lack of books I've read. I've only read about three or four books at the moment, but I've still got a lot more to go. So this rating may change, but at the moment I'm giving it a good seven out of 10. So we are done here guys, but remember, if you are gonna start reading a book, read this one first, I really highly suggest it. Also, um, I have to wear glasses for some books because of the writing being so short. But with this one, the writing is all right. Like, you don't, like I don't need glasses for this book, but there is a certain few books that I do have to wear glasses. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be hopefully uploading about every week on this series, because like I said, I wanna to try to read one book a week. And as soon as I read that book, I'm gonna review it, rate it, read out my favorite chapters and so on. And also guys, if I am reading a book a week, that's obviously 52 books in a year. So if you have any books to suggest, any books that you want me to read and review, please just leave a comment down below and I'll consider buying that book. But like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take it easy and as always, stay strong.